All right, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the stock market was insane this week. It was crazy today. There's a lot happening. There's a lot of questions people are asking. So I want to talk about what happened this day, today, kind of comparing it all throughout, you know, wrapping it up with this week and then answering this question and talking about something very, very unique that happened that was really unique to today and that we've seen before. But are we in a recession? That is the question we've gotten asked. That is a question that Fed Powell got asked. And, you know, that is what people could say started this whole drop, you know, and everything going on today. But it's that. And now the big event was the yield curve inverted again. So I'll even tell you this is what caused the, the market dropping. If you guys have watched the, the latest recaps I've been going over, you know, I've been doing what happened in the stock market today. We've been doing the watch list and we've been covering them on stream. So you guys will go back and see. Sorry if it's redundant, but now coming to Friday right now, it's kind of coming full circle. So also make sure you guys have checked those videos out. Check out the live streaming channel, youtube.com slash stock market, Monday through Friday. We're on 30 minutes before open and we're trading live. And make sure you guys like the video. If you like this content, you agree with it. Even if you disagree, you want to support the channel and it'll make sure YouTube shows you this stuff and subscribe. But let me just tell you the main thing. I'm, I'm going to be jumping around here because I have a lot of things I want to talk about related to the markets right now. And the first thing I will tell you is that the yield curve has inverted to a degree today. It's still normalized. It's still normal in one aspect, but uh, there was something unique. And, you know, this is what caused today. You know, I said it in the in the other video, you know, the recap from yesterday. What happened was the Fed reported here, you know, and, and literally maybe we'll have to, I'm going to have to go back through the whole week. So here's Monday, you know, the markets jumped up seemingly on nothing. There was some of the Brexit concerns. And then there was the report that Xi Jinping or China was rolling back those concessions. Market dropped. That wasn't, you know, there's a lot of bad China trade news. Then that same day, the next day before the Fed, right before the Fed meeting, Trump said uh, that there's, he's not going to do a, a, deal, a deal with China unless they could afford enforce it or anything like that. Then Fed Powell and the market jumped. And really it was a whether it be a policy error or how the markets interpreted it. And this is to answer the question, are we in a recession? But the Fed really went dovish. And that means they were very accommodative as opposed to raising rates as they've been doing. They said they actually cut their forecast of rate hikes. They said they're going to hold it there. And, you know, the next question, you know, are we in a recession? Well, the Fed pretty much admitted it or says that we're at least heading towards one in the question. You know, the, there's a growth right now for 2019 or 2020 at 1.8 1 percent, which is dramatically slower. That's there's no other way to put it than recession as it's slowing down. And if you look at the estimates of these companies, I believe we're already in one. You know, just because you're in a recession does not mean stocks are going to, you know, actually reflect that because a recession is just three quarters in a row of negative growth. And then it leads to, you know, over overall the great recession we've seen. That was a, a big systematic failure that led to systematic, you know, slowdown in growth and jobs and all that. So we're not quite there yet, but there is, you know, a recession of some sort. And now it escalating to a full blown issue and end of the cycle. I think everyone's kind of around 2019, 2020. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys something uh, to answer that question here today. But pretty much the issue and what caused everything now, and this relates to the yield curve, by being so dovish, the Fed and Jay Powell, it sent the dollar diving, which sent all the other currencies, you know, strengthening and doing all this stuff. But the bond market, and we I talked about it even since Monday, the bond market has not been believing this rally since kind of that first dip after the... Uh, after really March 6th and March 7th, I believe, yeah, you know, the bonds started going down, the market was coming towards it, but then bond yields kept going lower while the market went up. And now that dovishness by dropping the dollar and then other stuff today. Now, this is, it, you know, but let me finish this first thought, but the rates dropping caused, you know, a panic now in a sense by inverting the yield curve again today. And that's what we saw. And here it is. I'll show you the dynamic. Here's a graph of it. You could see the three month is now higher than the two year, higher than the five year and higher than the seven year. I think even higher than the 10 year. But here it is, too. You know, your three month is literally right now higher than the 10 year. So there's a higher yield on a three month bond than a 10 year bond. So naturally, that should not make sense. If you guys will see, go watch the main video I made on the yield curve describing this. But this was an issue and the markets do not like this, but it was caused by now again all these issues with the pat with powell the fed and the policy that and you know it drove the rates down even lower and then now another issue is that there's good news came out of you know the the uk got an extension 
that drove the pound up that drives the dollar down and again it, it exasperates this issue so this was an unintended consequence and this could be you know some are categorizing this as a policy error by the fed the fed you know they went they, they've u turned they've made complete u-turns they're losing their really credibility because they went from we're on autopilot everything's going good to now they're saying well we're cutting the amount of rate hikes and you know people were forecasting you know when the markets were dropping and people were selling off this was forecasting a lot of rate hikes for the future so then if they say well no more rate hikes there's a different valuation going on reflecting this bounce but essential essentially this was a policy error and it caused this un this was an unintended consequence the last thing i'm sure the fed wanted to do was invert the yield curve and now this is the issue because if investors get worried of stocks they pile into bonds it drives the yields lower on the long term it the curve is going to invert and flatten even more so there's a there's there's a this is how it, it could really you know esc one thing leads to another and a lot of stuff unintended this is how problems come about especially if there is a quote-unquote systematic problem which i know a lot of the the tinfoilers out there wanted they're ready puts 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 the world's gonna end but you know i'm giving you guys this so you could understand it but now why did this drop that to that so pretty much there's more german data that came out today the the british stuff and all you know compiling all this now the dollar kind of rebounded but again the rates kept dropping it made it that that it made the issue really bad for the market and now investors were panicking today that the the yield curve inverted and let me show tell you why that's of an issue because the last time that happened was december 3rd december 4th and you see it looks kind of like today we were they were coming back to the october lows you know this was the time it was going down it was recovering it was hitting that in that, that next high and literally we're at the same level we barely broke it and then it dropped the yield curve inverted you know literally this is i think all the big money with bonds and everything it kind of looks kind of eerie topping out at the same point every time it's literally like clockwork to agree kind of kind of scary but that's why you know we have to see how this is go but i'll show you in the historical context but this is uh you know the last time we saw the markets respond and that was simply from the two-year going higher than the 10-year now we have the three month higher than the 10-year uh and in a lot of other different areas so that's where it's going to get bad but now you know last time really now here's the chart like i showed you earlier this is how it looks now go back in 06 05 you could still see growth the last time it really looked like this was coming into october 2006 and this was about uh I'd say what four or five months uh before um i don't know october so about almost a year leading before they started to cut rates again the market still went up and then that led to the market declining so again go watch the the video i have on that but that is essentially what happened today what happened this week it's been a wild ride and there's a lot to it so hopefully your guys's eyes are peeled on this and you are looking out here but at the same time even as history would show us you, you know, there's all about timing. It's all about di digestion. So that October example should be something good. But as as a, you know, a, a recent note, you could see how investors responded. And and we could, what was that? And we can understand the reasons why, you know, it would be as such. But I'm going to leave it at that, guys. I love you. Subscribe. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think we're in a recession? What do you think about all this? The yield curve? Are we going to rip to new highs, lows? I love your guys' thoughts. You think I'm an idiot. I love you, too. Uh, have a wonderful weekend, guys. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Got some heat for y'all. Let's go.